Right, guys, I'm back. Um, starting to rain outside, so I've come inside and sorted out some stuff that I've purchased in the last couple of weeks, and I thought I'd share it with you guys. So right in here we have a brand spanking new set of towel lights. Um, there we go, brand new set of towel lights. There for the infra, for this old girl. So what I'm thinking, I put these on here because they're new and the ones on the back of the infra I might put on the blue loon, the blue one. So here I had some powder coating done on the rocker boxes, silver, as you can see there, which I'm quite impressed with that come out. I've had both of them done, plus I had the timing chain cover housing done as well. Down here, we've got the, um, these go on the rear for the bumper on the side. They clip onto the side, which they're getting quite hard to get hold of now. In this box is the air comrade, which we need for the silver one. But I'll show you a picture of that, picture of that at the end of the uh, video. Genuine. Genu it's a genuine one as well. Now here, I picked these up from a guy, very cheap so happens i picked them up for 30 quid i couldn't believe it but what was the icing on the cake he gave me these the weather strips for the doors genuine fold ones didn't want them gave them to me so i thought christmas come early i'll be honest with you so that was quite a good result right in here is a genuine top hose so uh, obviously we see that we thought we'd better get it because obviously it's going to be another thing hard to get hold of. Excuse me. This was quite a bit of a rare rare find. Brand new gear knob, six speed, genuine fold again, still in its box, which was quite a good find as well. Um, plus. Well, bear with me guys plus this my son found this genuine fold as you can see it's a brand new washer jet what goes behind the bumper brand new one so he got that a tenner I do believe which was another good result um, in here is a sunk gasket but as you can see, it's all wrapped up, but at the end, I'll show you pictures of it, and uh, you can see what it is. So over on the rack in there, guys who have been following me for a little while, when I had the poor old Infra in here as a shell, the rocker box covers, the timing chain cover, and the sump, they're off the old engine. So I'm going to have them all sandblasted and powder coated, similar to that head. So, a uh, rocker cover, sorry. <laughs> now, reference to Infa. Now, obviously, she's parked up. She won't be going out again until next year now. But what I'm thinking of doing is, once the blue one is finished, turn this one round, drive her in, put her up in the air at the back, and do a bit of a refurb underneath on the back subframe bushes because i remember they were on the visory of the mot for it so i've got a subframe already powder coated bushed up already so that can go straight on here and i'll put some new arms on and uh i'll put some new arms on it and some discs and i've got some new rear calipers with carriers as well which can go on this old girl as well Another thing I picked up was an induction kit, which uh, um, I think I picked this up for about 20 quid, which I was really pleased with it. I couldn't believe it. Geezer just want to get rid of it, and it was right on my doorstep. So that was another good result. Um, other than that, guys, there's not really a much has been happening part-wise. I think that's it. I think all that over there you know about. I 
think all that you know about guys so yeah so that's it for today um today earlier this morning me and my boy we went in the gray car and we went to a, a breakfast meet at herbie's in cambridge um met some people nice people and some people i already know which was nice to see them and my mate dunk was there with his infrared and he brought his good lady along tony so that was nice to meet her with a gray one um i haven't took no pictures of it yet but i managed to get her sitting low now put the rear springs on because i was poorly it was stuck down my mate's garage so i'll be honest with you because he needed the space he went and done it he just said dave i can't have it in here i've got to get it out so he put the new springs on for me and done it and he had the cons of velocity joint he said the cons of velocity joint on the front was split so i said to him mark hayes engineering just do it for me then why he got it there so she sits nice now so what i'll do um is i'll put some pictures up on my instagram page i said you can you see her on there where she sits with the 20 inch rims she looks all right and driving on the motorway it's, it's fine around the back around the little streets obviously you feel everything like a little while you feel it and it's because it's got low profiles it's a little bit of a harder ride but i can live with that i don't very rarely use it it's not if i use it every day so yeah so that's it for that guys uh um and up up till now i think you're up to date with everything um as i said still working on the blue one if you see my last video you'll see i still got some bits to do on that but as we was running out of time and the rain started to come i thought i'd just do a quick one on on parts to keep you all up to date guys so that's it guys um sunday evening not my best time of the week i'll be honest with you because obviously back to the grindstone tomorrow but uh um yeah ah i'll show you what i bought i don't know if i can reach them i've bought some masks and uh they're over there here cameraman bring that over for me please these bought these they obviously in here oh yeah look this one's done thank you this one's done no it ain't it's been taken out someone's been messing about with them but um they're masks they're pretty good you put them on obviously and they cover your whole face and uh, um what basically is you can breathe through there so you have it on like this on like this and it's when you're working underneath when you're working underneath the car no crap and that's falling in your eyes and that so yeah so i bought a couple of those and uh ha 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 funny i don't know if you heard that from the cameraman it said my beard so yeah so that's that guy anyway i'm waffling on there like usual so have a good week guys and uh um I'll catch you on the next one. If you like, thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs down. But take care. Look after yourselves.